clown bash has come to town. Might be coming to a squeak near you. Watch your back. Keep a real clown. Keep a real clown. I'm a clown and a rat. Puffy, doodle, high like a toaster strudel. Go dumb, go dumb, racks and racks, boodles and boodles. I'm the shit, like a doodle. How come y'all are soft as poodles? I eat big boy, cause you're eating dollar noodles. Blow up, just like Chatsu. Grab my money account, like my name is Dooku. Dancing like I'm in a tutu. Tutu and gloss, and they go pew pew. I'm new, I'm new, and improved, just like you do. So tell me who's the real clown? These grinders acting up, catching nails and then breaking down. And when Scruffy tips his royal crown, then you know the circus is in town. So tell me who's the real clown? Haters speaking up till wheels and then not a sound. When you hear that squeaking come around, then you'll know the circus is in town. I'm a clown and around. Clown bash has come to town. Might be coming to a squeak near you. Watch your back. Keep a real clown. Keep a real clown. I'm a clown and a rat. Shout out, Jimmy Umami. Playing games like Atari. Clown cars, then Ferrari. Burgers and calamari. Sorry, but not sorry. It's all about me, like the eye before Carly. I'm high like TV, man. Look, Scruffy's on TV, man. I got the sauce like Bingle Dan. Pro D12 bag of Pringle can. You wanna throw shots, but can you throw hands? I'm the king of clowns, take my throne, no chance. So tell me who's the real clown? These grinders acting up, catching nails and then breaking down. And when Scruffy tips his royal crown, then you know the circus is in town. So tell me who's the real clown. Haters speaking up till wheels and then not a sound. When you hear that squeaking come around, then you'll know the circus is in town. I'm a clown and around. The clown bash is coming down. Might be coming to a squeak near you. Watch your back.
What are you doing? Let's see if we have any messages. Oh, no. Um, that was Jessie. She's going away for a bit, which is unfortunate. start the day. Did we go through all the food yesterday? Oh, uh, no. So the main goal for the day, the main goal is to meet with Copper. I know she'll be around, but that's the main goal for today. Cat! No, not my cat. I saw a cat on the side of the road. I'm like, I'm, I'm burning both ends of the candle right now. I'm burning both ends of the candle and I'm like not feeling the best, but I want to get this shit done. I want to get this shit done because I know a bunch of people are going. What the fuck? Important that they're looking for taco trucks and getting back on a bicycle. Oh, so. Hello, hello. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, okay. And like three premium combos today. All veggie. Uh, veggie, yeah. just one has to be veggie. The, the rest can be whatever. 7129. There you go, coming on through. Thank Lovely. you, thank you. Thank you very much. Just a sec. Yeah, take your time. I think yeah. we'd left it reasonably well topped up, Joe. But... Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Alrighty, and all that food's on the train. Thank you very much for coming to Shrugwood. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get blown up, hit by an airplane. I was, I was like... just thinking that. I was literally <laughs> just thinking that. My God. Like, I think this is Janet's first big press conference at City Hall, and I think yeah, at the yeah, last three, oh, I need to eat this. two I've been blown up at. Yeah, I, um, I normally, uh, I was completely expecting, which is why I was like, Yep, okay, now we're going to back up. Just kidding, now we're going to back up. But, uh... <laughs> I mean, the thing that amuses me, Joseph, is that you said, yeah, let's go to the press conference. It'll be interesting. You didn't say anything about people routinely getting blown up. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. See, it's just like a... It's kind of like it's a like given. or something. 
initiation ceremony. You have to get blown up at a prep conference before you're a true old timer in the city or something. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right. Go, well, thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a good Bye. day. Bye. Yeah, I'm running out of juice, but there's so much going on both here and in the uh, wild. My God. So, okay. I know we're here, right? But <laughs> I spent a lot of the morning um, reading through the wild uh, rules. So much so that I actually messaged the support bot. Like, I went that far. I messaged the support bot. Because for clarification, who's this running? Anything a ride? Hello, sir? Hello, hello. Hello? Okay, have a good day. <laughs> Does this keep telling you, I guess? Anyway, so I went through and I was like reading. God, the alliance rules, they're so. <laughs> if they. If they enforce the alliance rules how they're written, um... It's gonna negate so much RP. And this is me just talking to, to figure out the fucking alliance rules, right? So... I'm just trying to figure out... It's not like video gaming, but it's like taking away our penis, our penis, our peeish, whatever. Because um, oh, never mind. We'll just we'll discuss this after. Hi, Bozy. Well, hello. Well, there was more sprays around the city yesterday. I went around and looked. Okay, isn't anybody way. hungry? Uh, I I can I can, can eat. If I need you a, if you can eat uh eat this. I need a I need a band aid more than anything else though, because uh, for some reason okay. I feel like shit. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I have uh. And I'm not. And I'm not sure exactly why. Oh, I, I know why. But just yeah. eat eat. They're still good, but they won't be good for long. Right, yeah, no, I, I just had a cherry slushie mm. that was kind of in the same condition. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're needing stuff, take, take this. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah Not for were... you, Wigwag. It's okay. See, how about you want a potato chippy? Do you want a crisp? No. Oh. <laughs> Anna said crisp. Yeah, well, considering... Do they call them crisps? No. Your head sits? Oh, okay. Wasn't sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they might, but I, I, oh, I don't. Okay. Give me a second, no. and I'll think about it harder. <laughs> I know there were uh, there were a couple of sprays at Bob Smith PD. There were sprays at Viceroy, but they were removed. I was told by um, an EMS named Walter that there was one, two at Viceroy. One of them was by the doctors ballet or whatever and one of them was inside but i don't know where inside okay uh frederick potato chips or crisps yeah so i mean they're they're around so they're still popping what? around i haven't looked at the building yet today but um 
Just full disclosure, though, I was going to be calling James Hayes because he what he is the Simone family lawyer. Uh, I shoved Michael Simone off to him when I did not want to deal with him legally. So I'm going to be, I, I want to ask him a couple of questions. Of, okay, I want to hold off know. on that. I'm going to, um, but, but I, I mean, I left. Did we all leave at the same time yesterday? Uh, I think, that, yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I um, mean, I took off and went and, you know, went around and was looking for more praise to see where they were. Alright, I was just uh, making sure that, uh, well, one, uh, let's move this discussion into the building, and two, uh, it's just making sure uh, that, uh, so nobody has talked to Vuva since uh, yesterday, or sorry, I shouldn't say, the no. acting director. No. Correct. For potato no, chips? He, he left and we all kind of dispersed after that. Okay. So, Alright, let's yeah, go yeah. into the building then. Because I am waiting for... Now that they are back... Um... I... Am... Just operating... Under their direction. So I am trying oh, not fair. to... I yeah, was, I'm trying not to I make... Did, I just know that... Um... James will know what the hell's going on. Yeah, He'll so tell. I'm trying not to make any decisions. Um, so that I, I do just, not have to fucking undo anything else. Right, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah. I just want to know why they decided to come and tag over here. The other places I totally get, I like totally if, understand. If, if they give clearance to be looking into it, that's one thing. But if, we, if they do not give clearance, then... Uh, uh, all right. That's, yeah. I meant the snack. Potato chips, like barbecue potato chips. Uh, is this one still here or no? No, I had Joe remove it yesterday. Who, who removed it? I had, I, I had Joe clean it up yesterday. Okay, so it is unclear if, uh, was... We have did pictures. You, we have pictures. We have, you have pictures. Do you have pictures mm -hmm. with PD camera or no? Yeah, yeah, you gave okay. me the camera. That's the one yeah. that I've been okay, taking good. pictures of you. Okay, good. Um, okay. And I told him, I, I told him that if he's around when we aren't and he sees, uh, and he sees any more of it, to give one of us a call so that way we can come down what and document it. What was that? Hold on. What the fuck was that? You heard that too. Screaming. Yep. I just somebody screaming too loud driving by. Ah! Maybe down here. Maybe yeah, maybe. maybe I think just too loud. But if you use English. Okay. Um if you want to get this sign set up, I'm going to send a couple emails and make a few phone calls. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think I found, like, my biggest pet peeve. Swag. It's people yawning in our pee.
I think it's just when like I I start like when I'm just starting like I'm waking up and I I can't afford to be tired again. <laughs> Time is it? Twenty eight. Hey, Posey. Hi there. Um, how's your day looking today? Uh, let's squeeze this in very quickly. I'm gonna come to the FIB building. Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay. Bye. Copper's on her way. Good, thank you. I'm not getting a new car right now because I'm getting food for every day. That was when I was bored. I thought about getting a new car. Talk about backseat gaming. Move. There needs to be a door right here. And then the right deal. Like what?
Hi, Posey. Uh, Copper and Winston are here. Okay. Uh, I will come down to get them. Okay, perfect. See you in a Thank second. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just got here. Mm hmm I did uh, some of this on the upstairs, but the... Okay. Yeah, some, they're not done. Are the same thing. I like it. Hey, Posey. Hello. Uh, just for our records, uh, could you both flash your IDs? I mean, I know you are, but it's just for our records. Thank you. I want this fucking save. Sorry. That's a mood. I want that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great ID. Okay, so uh full disclosure, I have every I have the FIB roster. Okay. Uh who you guys had before and then in the past. Uh and then uh a detailed uh write up from Sloan for both of the FIB soft launch proposal. Mm -hmm. And then also is this the same roster? Let's see, I think it no, here, here, let's, here, roster, here, let's go upstairs. Yeah, yeah we can all go upstairs. Okay. I just, you have a lot of people for like uh, security thing, but uh, I was yeah. looking to get state IDs of people that need to have document access. Yeah, so um, I'll go through and I'll check mark the ones that uh, need document access. Hello, Bozy. Hello, hello. Hello, Winston. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, Copper. Hey, how are you no, doing? I, I, I went, I oh, it's fine. I'm going to remember this forever. I feel it would be overly familiar. I will, I will, I will, I will start forever. striking people if they yawn. Okay, on the... Anna and uh, that would be just fine. No, I don't <laughs> you, want to. You two could do a man downstairs, please. A what now? Could you stay downstairs, please, for the time being? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I can, as long as I'm not, you know. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. I'll decide who he really is later. You'll decide. <laughs> this guy, he looks like a Sam. Like a Sam <laughs> Worthington. Vagueness allows for us to expand the scope. Yes. It, uh, really it keeps the good. tunnel vision, you know, from never happening. It really sucks. Yeah, I'm looking at this. That's cool. What? Like some old shit. Okay. Oh, well, I'm kind of an old person, so. I'm not. Let's go into okay. one of these rooms, and then we can talk. You know, when Duba was showing me the new floors and all the construction that you guys had, mm -hmm. I got sniped by Michael Simone. I know. But yeah, but no, so we're not going to stand um, where you got sniped, Copper. Over I'll here. Where the blood. Right here. Yeah, no, so that's why we have all the meetings and the rooms with blinds now. And he was... Is this... Is this a stain Shot mark? me from the maze brink Sorry? tower. Is this the stain mark of your blood? Yeah, yeah we, we, yeah. we've we tried it, to get it, it down. Your blood is yes. very potent. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Acid. Yeah, yeah. So now that's why we have all our meetings and the rooms with the blinds now. Very wise. Yep. Mind the chairs. Uh oh. Well, copper. yeah, yeah. Oh, it, yeah, it's okay. We'll stand. Oh, Watch out for me. Also, don't bump the okay. TV. It's oh, well, fuck. Balanced. Oh, my God. Just... Yeah, I just See? move in the mall. Okay, give me one second. Well, here we are. Okay, so. What did um... you do to the chairs? We all, oh, we're just moving oh, them. Oh, my fucking God. Hi. Hi, Copper. Hi, Winston. Hi, you're dead. No, I'm, I'm not dead, but I, I, 
I was close to it. Last time I saw you were a bald. Bald? Oh, yeah, because I got blown up. I'm trying to hug you. I love you. I'm so glad you're not gone. Oh, my God. A lot has happened. Oh, give me that one-arm hug. It's it's inadequate, but it it's an attempt. Did you oh, need to do it twice? Me. Is that rude? It might be rude. Okay, so, um, the last chat that I think we collectively had with, uh, Soze and Andrew and, uh, a handful of the other state, uh, troopers, uh, there was an interest in of, uh, acquiring you guys underneath the state police, and so they wanted me to go through your guys' documents. I just, uh, I have some questions, and then I'm just going to, I guess, just give Soze, like, an update. We're doing some stuff with the structure for the state trooper department. And I'll, with that, we're adding um, a ranking structure. And with right. that, uh, I mean, is, uh, you guys will know who you need to talk to and what they'll be able to help you with. Brilliant. Okay. Um, the questions that I have. So I have your rosters. But I un Under the day-to-day -day operations, there's a section for roles. So special agents and agents, they should have the report writing access, right? Is that what you yeah, guys want? Yeah, they should. Okay. Um, under analysis, I do not think that they should have report writing access. Yeah, we can start um, with view access for now. Okay, if they view, they can view any document that you guys create. But I can give them an only a view access. I see that they can do uh, civilian investigations primary from the office. So like people coming in wanting to bring uh, investigations or incidences to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, this R and D, op what what about them? That's basically my role, which is okay. a combination of a little bit of everything. Um, so I basically, you, yeah. Uh, uh, um, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place because I'm trying to figure out sure. how I want to word this. So there is currently a FIB document uh, writing uh, permissions that are set up. Um, the, the SCU can view your documents, and I don't think that they can edit them. And you guys, I think, can view the SCU, and you cannot edit them? Uh, that is correct, uh, from what okay. I'm understanding. And that was set up so that right. uh, we don't step on the toes of anything that right. SCU is already working on. Um, is that something that is continuing? No. So what... What is changing? Because I'm going to strip that entire permission and rebuild it. So I just need to know. Uh, how you can to totally it. throw it out the window. We don't need to be able to see SE reports or vice versa. Okay, sounds good. So what you guys want is uh, FIB investigations, right? So that's like the highest tier, or at least think of that of the highest. Um, where your investigations, what you guys are doing, where you guys are going to put all your documentation, etc. And those are going to yeah. be exclusive only to special agents and agents. And then I can create a tier below that for the anal analyst and operations and the clerk. Not the clerks. Not the clerk. Um, to, so that they can take, it's like civilian reports. Yeah. Uh, same way that the PD works for dispatch. And people can come in and make a report and then... I could see if they can take those reports and they can get like bumped up to higher reports. If you, you guys can do can, that, that would be you good. You guys can yeah, move them to a different role. So I'll do FIB investigations. Um, and then it'll be FIB civilian reports. Does that make sense? Yeah, that would be perfect. Does that fit what you guys mean? 
Yes. On um, I think what was also discussed is I believe um I was not in the meeting that you had with the troopers. Um the ability now I I've not used the MDW in this way. Um for if we are asked to help with an investigation of information can be shared with us that way, right? Like an extra tag can be added. Is that correct? Um, a tag into a current investigation with the PD? Yes. Yeah. So, like, if there um, is a report... That would most likely have to be shared outside of the MDW. That, that... Well, that... Uh... So, for example, if there is something in SCU that they it's, want our eyes on... It's not a tag. It would be a permission thing. Okay. It's, it's, uh, the tags don't work that way. All right. Would... What we can do, if we wanted to allow you guys to see it, we could either remove it from SEU reports into investigation reports so you can see it, or just plainly export it and email it to you guys. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if tags uh, work that way as well. So tags are kind of like, you have to think of the entire MDW like a, a filing cabinet has all these documents in it and the tag is literally like a like a post-it that you would put at the top well and you would like okay this has to do with murder or homicide you would tag it with homicide every report can have so it's homicide uh it was a street race it was an officer involved shooting and um there was also a meth lab so I would tag it for all of those things. Tag, 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 tag. Um, so there are some officers that are interested in weapons trafficking and gun shooting. There's officers that are looking into the connections between people kidnapping and shooting officers and people looking into street racing, right? So all those people will look up the names of those tags to all of the relevant documents that have those tags. Does that make sense? It's literally like putting tabs on paper. Right. But at the end so, of the day, it goes into one file. And that file would be SCU, SIB. One, it goes into one giant filing cabinet called MDW. Well, yeah. 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 So the permissions work where um, those, all of those things are have a master categorization if they're a incident report, which is like we are going to make an arrest. We don't make incident reports for things that do not have a suspect and we are re we are pushing charges and we have PC. Everything else, like all of the RRS level, investigation, keeping notes, master documents, uh, happenings, just recording just shit happening, that goes into our investigative reports. And depending um, what department those reports fall into, so like uh, the street crimes, those investigative reports will fall under the street crime permission and only the members that are part of that street crime department will have that access. So it'll be the okay. same thing like the FIB. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. So you guys won't have SCU access. You'll never be able, if someone categorizes a report as SCU, you'll never be able to see those unless you're SCU, unless they move the document or explored it and share it with you, which should be happening anyway, because you would need a, an SCU liaison for that information. Okay. Thank you for explaining. But I can, you guys will have your own, just like the SCU, where no one else except for members of the FBIB and uh, myself, Toretti is my backup um, for doing stuff in the MDW and Ardson, the judge. And then, of oh, course, his if... dog tried to kill him one time. That's true. She went to doggy jail for a bit. Jesus. Yeah, there was something in the air that time. That's yeah, not a big deal. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, oh, yeah. So, it, it is fine. Okay. Um, I will set this up. And then when it's done, I'll contact you guys and you guys can test it out. And then if you have any problems, just let me know and I'll fix it. Or any of the IT guys, if they, for whatever reason, decide to wake up <laughs> and 
do something. Does anybody have food? Do you need food? I have food. Yes. There is also something I need to talk with you, Copper, and Winston about before you leave. Okay. Oh, just it. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. Um. So, um. Do you have the state IDs? Because I realize on the roster, if we are looking at the same one, they are undisclosed. But we have everybody's need, state IDs. I need to have their state IDs to be able to add them and give permissions. It's all assigned by your state ID. Yeah, I think we need to finalize that roster uh, with the changes that happened yesterday so I can make sure that happens today and then we get them over to you and I'll, I'll just drop yeah, you one final Yeah, note. that's what I was doing. That I don't have uh, permission access to it, so. Yeah, double, triple check that because then I'm going to make everything. Yep. Um, Perfect. I see that Forcer's on a leave of absence. And yes. Same with Bench Guy. Um, I'm going to keep their current status where it is, as far as documents go. Perfect. Um. Okay. Uh, the other thing is... These people need to, to be able to access this, they need to be hired on as a government employee. Yeah. Do you guys have someone doing that for you? No, that's the other thing. Um, so, <laughs> this is where it gets... Uh, this is the next kind of hurdle we are having. So, Booba, of course, is a PD. So it was uh, Forcer right. and uh, Bench Guy. Um, mm -hmm. I am technic. I am a lawyer, so mm -hmm. I I do have that option. Um, Sloan, I do not believe is anything, and Isaac and Odessa are both uh, county clerks. Okay. Um, let me talk to someone. See what job you guys should. They, these people should be hired as because uh, I mean, Booba's and Enforcer's status isn't going to change. Right. They're still officers. But for everybody else, um, I don't believe that they should be having police access to things. Right. No, I so agree. They might be categorized as a clerk of the state. But I have to see if someone can respond to me. Okay, I'll get it sorted. Because they'll have to be a employee. Um, okay. I know this is probably not in your ballpark, or maybe you know the person to talk to, but a way for them to clock in here. Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Okay, let me look at this other thing. Copper, do you have uh, the documents with the roster and the with the former employee roster? Uh, yeah, it says roster, former employee, and hierarchy. Okay. All right, so that yeah. one has the state ideas on it. Yeah. Okay. Is this the one you guys want to be using? Uh, that is the current... Uh... Officially? Okay, yeah. all right. Um, I don't believe Soze will be to be able to be the director. Because I think you need someone more present, but let me just verify. Oh, same with Underwood. Prime. Is this Snow at all interested? Um, I have told him at PD meetings that um, the FIB is going to be 
uh, acquired underneath the state, like the state police branch as a whole. And he says, oh, cool. Maybe we can get Bench Guy back. And that was as far as that conversation <laughs> was. Um, what do you mean, uh, uh, acquired? Not really acquired, but... Uh, Working in tandem with. Yes. Like, there's the state police, like the state branch, and the troopers are there, the rangers are there, and then the FBID will be there. Does that make sense? Not, yeah. Not in, in the particular order, like one, two, three, as in one has more power than two, but just we're all under the same state thing. Uh... Okay. Okay, you guys need to clock in. And also, you, the armory changing clothes? Changing yeah, room? I mean, it's all in the construction list. I put a lot of work into that a very long time ago. Yeah. But yeah, all the basic necessities would be very much appreciated. You guys have labs here, right? For your forensics? No. Mm -mm. That's something that we also need to get built. Okay. Would it be helpful for us to put a, an official list back together? And I mean, this is pretty... I mean, that's where I got it from. This looks like it's from the same okay. list that Vuga yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's all there. Um, I don't remember, Booba. Is the the air in the down downstairs is bad right now? Yeah, it's still okay. bad. Okay. Doors are very jammed. Yeah, but not only the doors. I mean, as soon as you go down there, like you cannot be down there. Oh it, yeah, yeah. It's unusable at the moment. Okay. Um we get one elevator, we lose the other. Yep. That's I guess that's the... exactly what's happened. Uh I guess this is like more I mean Bundy or some of this other stuff. Or Hall rather. Um because she's the lead for the SCU. The stuff with the cold cases and like the top most wanted. Because we have officers that actively work on those things. And how you guys will work together. Perfect. Because I don't want to take things away from our officers at all. Right, absolutely. Neither do we. And I don't think you guys do either. I guess, more or less, I would rather you guys have the conversation about how you guys are going to coincide, work together, or there would need to be some kind of like, yeah, working together ultimately. What do you mean that FIB owns the investigation? Uh, where are you reading? Under the top 10 most wanted. I see... So uh, the top 10 most wanted is a list that we are getting federally. It's not going to be anyone that is already existing in Los Santos. Okay. Okay, I understand. Okay, cool. Um, I think down the road... Uh, as more like uh, these, I know that there's a big emphasis about not having mechanics, but mechanics for the purpose of you guys being able to function get established. Uh, I think you guys should be in touch with the HBTU. We and are. You guys, you got, yeah, you guys need some kind of partnership with them. They've because... already helped us quite a bit in the past. Okay, awesome.
Okay. Okay, I have some homework to do for this. Um, I think you guys have everything that I could want. If I have questions, I know I'm talking with Sloan, but I can talk to any of Yeah, always feel free to email if you need to. Um, so your next, uh, preference, if you can't get Soze or Underwood, do you guys want me to talk with Snow about this? Yeah, I think that's... I know that, uh, Bench Guy was close with him. That's definitely an option I'm sure he would be proud of. Yeah, I think Snow would be keen. I thought I, I emailed him all of these documents. Let me double check. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I emailed him on the 29th, so... I think I just need to have, like, a conversation go down this with him. And then see if I can get him on board. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Yeah, there's been a lot of work and time put into this. I've been doing this for almost a year now. Yep. Uh, what are you guys doing as far as background checks? Uh, we... Are you talking about anyone? Or are you talking about a specific position? Like, like hiring in for... I guess specifically for the people that are going to have access to your investigations? Like right now, no one is an analyst, and I am the only active agent. Okay. Uh, like what what are what are you counting out? Like, are you guys, like, how? Like, there are people that have priors, and they have completely turned their lives around, and they are going on a different direction with their existence, right? I'm going so, to hold the same degree the bench guy had. Okay. What's uh, that? Theoretically, no history of crime. Okay. And extreme discretion when it comes to the individuals getting this access. Okay. Are you talking about the people that are getting access or people that are working the building cover? Access. Um, access. Okay. Specifically to your guys' reports and investigations. Like agents. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, then exactly then what's up, Bupa said. Hiring agents is a difficult thing that we've never even considered in the past. It was more so someone that Bench Guy trusted enough. Okay. And someone who had already gone through LEO training. Okay. That's going to be a very long conversation. Because right now there is no way for me to hire an agent. Yeah, I think, um... I would need to know what job they would get. I can figure that out. Okay. Um, can you add for this soft launch? Because if maybe I don't see it, I see... there. There's some bits here and there, but, um... It just says outlining training. Let me see where else it's put. Training is something we haven't really thought about because of the inability to hire. That was something that Forcer was looking into, actually. Well, I'm not talking about the literal hi hiring. Can you guys outline like what what you're looking for and hard? Like this is not acceptable. Hard passes. And what those are that would basically disqualify people from their application. Yeah, that's something I can work on with Sloan, getting it on paper. Because that would need to be made so that that information stays the same across the board. Because what happens is if somebody can't get a hold of one of you guys, they'll go to someone else in the state branch. And I want them to say the same stuff that you're saying so that there's no, like, people going behind other people's backs. And those officers that get questioned, you can know who they are. 
and kind of like deal with them in your own time if they don't get the picture. Yeah, we'll get that standardized. I see the employee expectations. Can you put like that with that, the hiring protocol in short term, ideally growing slowly, um, what the guidelines, what you're looking for? No murderers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Must have some kind of level of integrity. We have an entire NDA that employees must sign. Okay. Well, this is beyond the NDA. Well, yeah. But it's also within the NDA and uh, the expectations for employment here. You also have SOPs for agents. Is that correct? I've never seen that. So. Uh, we have them, yes. They, with all the, the new stuff that's been considered, I'm going to have to go through them and edit them most likely. Especially with, because we have nothing for analysts. Right. Okay. Um, I shouldn't stop anything else. Uh, let me talk to some people. I'm sure you guys are, as far as, I think we're, we're good. Uh, the other thing is, um, I guess we're going to talk with the mayor so that they understand your guys, or have you guys been talking with the mayor? Uh, Not very far. rough yeah. history. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Started off good, did not end well, but it is over. There is no relationship. Okay. Um, Sorry. The, the mayor as like an entire, you know, branch, they should, they should be a part of what you guys are doing. In some Unfortunately, uh, corruption has made that pretty impossible. Okay. You guys answer to the Senate, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. So whoever is going to be the director and then the Senate. Yeah, well, yes. right now I'm the acting director. I go to the Senate and whoever we hire to be the director will be the person we report to. And I'm sure they'll be the person that reports to the Senate. Okay, sweet. Okay, I'll have, I'll fix up, um... Who has permissions and who doesn't. And I will fix that and reorganize all of this shit. Uh, and hopefully preserve the current documents that are still in there. I don't think that'll be a problem. Thank you very much, Copper. Okay. Indeed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you guys would like to go over? Uh, just the conversation we need to have, but... Uh, Posey, Sloan, do you have anything? Uh, no, I think that pretty much covers all of my, uh, action items. Okay. Uh, no. I believe that's it. Uh, Booba, yesterday, uh... Sorry, this is a side... spare thought that's in my head. Uh... Actually, it's not important right now. Never mind. Um, Sloan, what's your current relationship with Cerberus right now? My relationship with Cerberus? Yeah. Well, that's why we don't have a relationship with the mayor. Ooh. Yep. Okay. That answers a lot of things. I'll, uh, I'll inform you in the conversation that we're going to have as well. Okay. Uh, I guess we can have that conversation wherever you want. All right, let's go. Well, thank you both. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Is it weird if I want to do flips? N no. I won't, but I mean, like, just so you know, I want to do flips. I don't know. So, since you never got to talk to Booba yesterday, um, mm -hmm. I have to talk to Adasa still because I did not... Tell her about remaining a clerk. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, and... Furthermore, not as many people probably getting MDW as ac access as we are liking to. 
at least for the time being, right? I mean, I think pushing up a training program and re this really goes back to what, honestly, that conversation via email that was so heated. Uh, yeah. Fundamentally. I really wish I was in that email conversation because I'm, we're, I'm operating on like, uh, I always operate on secondhand information. I feel like I do a pretty yeah. damn good job operating on secondhand information, but it's frustrating a lot of the time. Nah, I, I get it. Yeah, I, I think the unfortunate truth about any organization that's going to work like this organization uh, is that there needs to be a level of bureaucracy and expectation. Yes. Uh, and that's why the troopers and the whole state uh, has opted to incorporate us into their existing hierarchy rather than trying to build a new hierarchy. Yes. Um, as such, there are going to be expectations that will have to be met. Um, yep. I, I think that's where, like, having an education program and a career pathing is things that we need to be thinking through, but um, thinking through those kinds of operations have probably not been a consideration because it's the furthest we've gotten as an organization before. So we're, we're at the point now where it's like time to start building and time to start figuring out what the education needs to look like. Is there LEO training um, outside the city? Analysts and agents go through the same program. Um, the training is exactly the same almost up to a T except for weapons training. Um, but the intelligence training and, and uh, everything else is basically the same. So there's the possibility of us recreating that kind of course material um, for Los Santos. That makes sense. Uh, something that I can work with this group on. If, we, if that's something we want to go and move forward with. Uh, but that was well, part of what I called long term. Yeah. And now it's 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 yeah. Now. Yeah. Well, that's also something that Forcer wanted to be doing. Forcer was already talking about that. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, though, being on different pages about what that included. Yes. Um, that was that was part of the unfortunate LOA. Mm hmm. Yeah, those SOPs are written, by the way. Um, the agent SOPs or which ones? Yeah, the agent SOPs yeah. are basically written like PD SOPs. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm assuming you have read them. I have. They do not fit the organizational structure that we have for agency or. Yeah, analysts. I have never read those fucking SOPs. I can send them to you if you want. Yeah, to it's read okay, because uh. I don't think I'm supposed to read them because no, I've asked sure for them before. No, 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 because I've asked for okay. them before. And I've been told that because I'm not a LEO, I'm not supposed to be reading them. So. Well, I'm neither am I. Well, I know. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's. A, so that's what I mean when I say that I'm operating on some information that I, you know, it's shit that I can't do, you know. Yeah, I think the the weird, my weird placement in this organization has been that I have outside the training, the, the city training in operations, like that's that's an experience set that I brought into the city. Yep. And part of the reason why Mickey was successful was operationalizing something that didn't need to be operationalized, and it actually saw success. And then he wanted to do that here. Mickey did, which is why he introduced me to Buwa. And then when Boo and I were able to have some early conversations uh, two and a half months ago and started to operationalize the thing, like his ideas to put on paper, like what copper was going to do is exactly what they need to be able to like execute on this stuff. Um, those tiers of expectations. Um that's the reason why the Senate approved four pieces of legislation and will likely approve another three or four shortly that I also drafted for Mickey before I left. Uh, things that 
make the most logical sense and benefit the city greatly if they're done right. Yep. You are the king of pushing papers. Oh, God. It's not a bad thing, yeah. but it's true. It's weirdly a necessary thing. It is. But I also made an enemy of Crane. Oh, it's fine. And, uh... I am, uh... I know that I'm good at keeping people together, even if they're upset. Yeah, well done, by the way. Yeah. It's a... That's a skill. It's a, it's a skill. That's a, that's one thing for sure. <laughs> and Booba's back, so. Booba, thank God Booba's back. Yeah. It's ba he's back, but he's also going to be doing things that uh, are not exactly what the people that were left, which was the, uh... you yeah. know, it's not even the B team, because like Booba is the B team. Like, we were, like, the C team. <laughs> so. Uh, Odessa did call me, so I had to call her back. I think she might yeah, be downstairs. She, she called me as well. Yeah. God, you cannot walk. You have to climb over this. Yeah, that table is about 10% too big. Yep. upstairs Man, okay. I'm doing pussy. Um, I'm okay. Um, when you talked to Booba last, what position did he have you in? Like, what position did I have? Like, did he say you could be the head of unit? As far as I'm aware, I'm currently head of unit, yes. Okay. There was just a lot of, uh, So, I used an analogy yesterday, and I think it's pretty fair, um, that this place is a sandcastle. And mm -hmm. all the positions are, like, when you poke holes in a sandcastle to make windows. But sometimes the sand right. around those holes, they collapse. And it doesn't mean that you can't poke another hole and make another window. But, uh... 
you know, you have to make time and effort to do it. Way of telling me that I'm fired. I commend you. <laughs> no, not not fired. <laughs> God. Sorry. I know, I know. GTFO, my guy. <laughs> oh my God, that would be a really Why creative almost. way to tell somebody that's they're fired. That is a really. Why, yeah. Life is like a sandcastle. Life is like a sandcastle. And, and, and sandcastles sometimes get knocked sometimes over get by the ocean. In the face by an unruly child. Or, <laughs> or, or some. No, so some I was so okay. Yeah, yeah no, so I was thinking that that waves have tried to knock over the FIB building so many times, but there's been at least one person holding up like a surfboard to prevent, you know, the wave from crashing into the building. Hmm. And we have all taken turns holding up this surfboard. But, you know, some of the waves did get into the building and, uh, you know, knock over part of the sandcastle and we lose some windows with some people. Yep, definitely, definitely. Um, anyways. Um, you're fired. <laughs> you're not fired. Well, time to go and find Robo Doggies. Be ready, slow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. You're not fired. There is just a different builder of the sandcastle right now, and that's Booba, and he's wanting to put windows in different places. Yeah, that's fine. I actually no, I wanted mean, to talk that's... with him for a little bit uh, about certain things, so that it's more than fine. He has a different vision for the sandcastle than we might have had. Hmm. That's okay. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. And while it's going to be a great sandcastle in the end, and we'll all be happy with it. It's just he's building it a little different. We are doing akin to if you're using children in space or people wanting to knock us down. We're trying to build a nice place out of Legos, but we're having temper tantrum kids kicking it out every now and then. Or eating Boop. the Legos yeah. or throwing the Legos away. And Booba is at the helm trying to <laughs> figure out how we best build a secure and nice and good foundation. Yes, and we need to place people in certain, you know, building certain parts of the Lego kit. Hmm. Sorry, I thought it just call and I miss it again. Yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm going to have to talk to Booba. Oh, right? I didn't know you were awake. How yeah, are you? Yeah, hi, we're all at the building. Okay, I will change and uh, see you guys soon then. Okay, all right. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take the phone call to Odessa. No, I know. It was just, I just imagined that the two of them not having been here is like, so what do I do now? And it's like, you're less important than this phone call. I just walk away. <laughs> What, what do I do now? Well, Isaac, there's a rubber duck waiting for you. Oh, personalized rubber duck. Nice. Cement filled end of a baseball bat. Would it I'm still squeak? I'm finally getting my rubber duck. It, yes, it has to squeak. Then I'm okay with it. Here's the thing. It's not necessarily the rubber duck that may, is making a squeaking noise. That's just how I imagine it. It might be the people that I'm hitting. Yeah, it could, could be the blood squeaking out of your face. I mean, either way. What a gruesome picture. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a bat. Oh, hold Did on. You know hold that on. you can knock someone's nose off with a baseball bat? Wait, what? Hmm. That doesn't what do sound real. You want to try? Uh... That's a soul blade. That's a little bit cheating. <laughs> and that just takes away my skin. It's just, it's, it's a yeah. Bad. It's still technically bad. Including staff. No, you shouldn't be expecting anyone, but there may be. Staff? Uh, that's fine. No, no cops. Understood. Uh, nobody else is to come into the building except for people that work here. Roger. Okay. Everyone have radios? Nope. 10-4? Well. I bought a radio and then it immediately... Nice. Magic. Uh, mine was stolen when I was kidnapped. I was double checking. Nice. It's still the standard... 5191? Oh, 9. 9. 
You said Odessa was coming, or...? Yes, she is allowed to come in, and then nobody else. Can I... Yep. You, I'm gonna call her and ask okay. if she could potentially pick up radio for me. And that's in that is including a uh, police officer. Oh, okay. So uh, they haven't really tried to come in lately. Slow. Do you need a radio? Yeah, he has got. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Yes. So three radios. Little soul. That's right next to uh, your car. What? Who was struck by you? Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Because I understand, like, Booba's put a lot of time, effort, and stuff into the... The documents and everything. You know, with all of us kind of like standing here like this at the front of this building, not really talking, it kind of gives me like Breakfast Club's vibes. I can see that. Yeah. I like young to get that reference. No, you're not. <laughs> We're the same age, dude. I am very young, but I get that age. I'm on the internet. You, you get that age? Yeah. Oh, I get the reference. Sorry. It's going to make you guys feel really young. So, you know, I went to the movie theater. Just... 
Yeah, now that didn't happen for me. <laughs> what movie were we talking about again? The Breakfast, the Breakfast Club. Club. I saw E.T. in the theaters. And Star Wars. Fun fact. Original Star Wars. I've never seen The Breakfast Club. Oh my gosh, you should watch I that. I have it's not seen really it either. Good. I just know I know about it. I wasn't even. Oh my god, you guys out. should watch it. It's really good. Star Wars? Oh my god. Oh, the Sorry. Club. Oh, the Breakfast Club. There is okay. a huge spider in Legion Square. There's two of them. <gasps> I yeah. don't I don't like spiders. And city hall con uh, city hall. Yeah, there's um, one on top of city oh, hall. Oh yeah. no, I'm not going anywhere near those things. Fuck that. I think mean, it's just decorations. It's not, they're not alive or anything. So I think it's just decorations. Mm, yet. What do you mean, yet? One, two, one, two, Still three, early four. in poop sober. Wait. Give it time. I'm waiting are those for spiders or are they more like stranger there things? There is not there's enough legs. So it might be the stranger things, things. I don't know. They look like spiders. Uh, they're, they're yeah, no, they're, they're kind of spidery. No, there's no, there's, look, picture. there's not enough legs. One, two, yes, three, huh? four, three. five, six, seven. Oh, there is enough legs. Oh, I was hoping there was <laughs> not enough legs. The, the image is definitely leg weird. Are you shaming? Are you leg shaming? What, what if you just had a leg knocked off? Sometimes not all spiders are made equal. Right. Yeah. Can spiders live losing a leg? I don't think I've ever, like... I don't know, but do I feel bad because I used to pull the leg off a spider. The daddy long You're leg. a freak. Yes, sir. <laughs> but those are not actually spiders. They're not technically spiders, no. Really? No, daddy Did long legs that? are not technically spiders, no. What are, are they? In the arachnid family. Did that see long leg? Oh, pillionoids. I, I literally they, looked it up on spiders.ucr.edu. They're spiders. <laughs> no, daddy long legs or harvest men are familiar Missouri animals. They are not spiders, but opilionoids. Unlike spiders, they have a fused body form and lack silk and venom glands. In harvestmen, the body is a simple oval, and it's usually hard to tell where the head ends and the segmented abdomen begins. Man, my, my, my phone must still be set to Africa because this site isn't available in my country. <laughs> oh my god. But I guess it's technically a part of the arachnid family, but it's not considered a arachnid arachnid because it doesn't have the same bodily it's related, makeup of it. It's related to the spiders. Oh no! Yes, it's yeah. My gun is broken. But check. but it still oh, looks like about. it still looks like I have one. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like some of the clowns, they like to run around with uh, machetes on their back, and it's just a fashion statement, you know, but it's completely rusted out. They can't use it. <laughs> it's just there for a fashion statement. That reminds me, I owe Odessa four grand, and also I need to go get a new gun. You reported your gun stolen, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I need to follow up on that, by the way. What is our... What, what is our next step? What do you mean? For being hunted as a federal agent? I don't know. So, here's the thing. Is that because Booba's in charge, we wait for orders from him now. Well, I mean, the case is actually being led by... Not us. Who's it being led by? So, we don't do anything. Well, I mean, like, could I not follow up on it as the victim? Uh, you can yeah, follow up personal, on it. Yeah, yeah, as a personal thing, personal. but as a, as a yeah, you can't unit. you can follow up on it as public figure of FIB. Yes. So this, I would follow it anyway. So this... I'd be conflicted if I was trying to do that. No, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think that's just... Uh... 
That's what I'm you trying to say. Definitely follow up on it, John. Yeah, but I think as of what to do when we're being hunted, well, fuck all, suck it up right now, I guess. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so this. It's up in the airs. Yeah, this puts us back to uh, being at the director's whim, which is kind of sucky, but it's is what it is, and it's necessary to get shit done. Yeah, for sure. Do we know anything about that car out there? Unless it's just a local. If so, I think then I'll have to call it. I think it's it was just local. a local. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop off the radios. I don't know who needs it. I got three. I got one extra. I need one. Take what you need. I'll be right back and I'll get that towed. I'll walk out with you. Wait, didn't you? Okay, I'm going to hold both. What's up, Posey? Um, so... Because Booba is back as director... Mm -hmm. Um... There is reshuffling and organization. Okay. Just, just um, let me know. Uh, the, the, what I linked you, or mm -hmm. what I emailed you, rather. Um, I've just been waiting for the directive to... I just need to input it properly, you know what I mean? Yep, yep. I just need to know what to put in there. Um, so, for right yep. now, you're going to... Until I find replacement... Um, mm -hmm. for both you and Anna, uh, okay. you're, you are going to, um, still work as a clerk and Anna is going to be security because the analyst position is changing, which I was not aware of until yesterday. Oh, okay. That's yeah. whatever. Yep. A title is a title. Whatever. Yep. So. I'll change that as soon yeah. as I get. The people, thank you mm -hmm. very much. I don't know about this lady. Sorry, ma'am. So they'll take care of her. Uh, whose car is that? Up there? Uh, that is uh, Copper's car. Also, the others know this. Nobody is to come in the building, not even police. Do you already have a oh, radio, wow. Odessa? I do. Yeah, I okay. said I did. Yeah. Then we have an extra extra. <laughs> no, yeah. I I just didn't know <laughs> if there was somebody who just forgot. You know, sometimes just be yeah. best to be prepared. Okay, so like. As of now, is that like forever? Like, or is just because she's here? Right. Uh, that is for right now. Oh, that's for right now. Okay. Yeah, until I told time. otherwise. Because, uh, B said so. Yeah, hey, Dessa, what's your state ID? I'm going to go upstairs. Uh, 2129. Okay. 2129. Radio track. Yep. Send you. Chop chop. That's a new one. What's wrong with you? Hydration. Yep.
I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, so now that happens immediately Still exiting the elevator. Yeah, it was... He keeps... It's Bucky. He keeps pointing at uh, <clears throat> the car out here. Oh, shit. Hold on. If you need uh, anything, I'll be around. See you soon. I am. I wonder how I'm going to explain Hello. the history um, of the is down here pointing at the... And oh, he's outside. outside. Uh, uh, talking to him. Yeah, he wants a meeting with me. Mm. Interesting. Oh, there's those guys. Thank well, you very I'll much. I'll do my best. You too. Person. <laughs> Thank you, Tesla. Bucky! Oh, there he is. How's it going, Bucky? Bucky? You want to speak to Copper? Bucky. Uh, no, I did not talk to Booba about Bucky yesterday. Is there gonna go have secret talks? 
Hey, Posey, could you come back downstairs? Winston's out. Yep. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Bucky wants to meet with all three of us. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep, there's the rest. Uh, just give that to me. I'll process them as such. You can hold on to those things just in case I need to leave, okay? Okay. All right. I don't know where, we're, where yeah, we need to go. I, I don't, um... Give me one second and I'll clear a room upstairs. I'll have uh, Odessa bring you guys up when I'm ready. Okay. Just let me know. Yep. I know what you mean by attire, but in terms of presentation navigation, what do you mean specifically? I'm, I'm sorry, I need to interrupt. Uh, yeah. Uh, but Bucky is downstairs wanting to have a meeting with me, Copper, and Winston. He stopped by yesterday, drop off a uh, document because he was in talks with Forcer. You're talking about the person that has the service logo on their arm? Yes. Who is... No. Extremely closely related to servers. He had a talk with, um, he had a talk with, um, he wants to be one of these. He does not want to be, um, he wants Copper to lead this. He wants to jumpstart it. He wants to uh, get the cars. He would like to be a member. I understand why, that. Why do you think that this is a good idea? I do. I am bringing you information. No, no, I, you, I understand. I know, but I want to know your opinion. I am bringing you information. This is. So you don't have an opinion about it. I'm not sure whether my. Uh, if my opinion is valued, he's asking to have a meeting right now and is waiting to come upstairs. Yeah, that's fine. Let him in a meeting room. But I'm just telling you right now that I don't trust Bucky and it's going to take a whole lot of time for me to ever trust someone with a service logo on their arm. That is what I said yesterday. Would you like to be in this meeting? Uh, I need to get changed. I need a mask. Do you need a mask? Like, the challenge is that Boob is not to be known that he's even in existence. Do you need a hair tie? That didn't make it completely fix it. That? What do you yep. think? Pretty good uh, disguise. Just don't talk. <laughs> yeah, hide in the corner. Um. Yeah. Sorry, I, I lost focus looking okay, at you okay. when you look at this. Uh, Odessa, you can bring them up. Very good. Make sure. Uh, you need to talk to Copper and Winston both before, without Bucky there, letting them know that this is not me. I'm sure they'd get the idea, but I don't want them even referencing. Mm -hmm. uh, 49, correct? 
Yep, upstairs. I need to change. Put them in a meeting room and then I'm gonna go. Yep. To Let me know if you need anything else. Mm -hmm. Just know when he is in the meeting room. Oh, uh, Copper and Winston, can I talk to you for one second? Okay. So, um... Another agent will be joining us. Uh, just do not reference him. I'm sure you know what I mean, but... Sorry, don't mind me just jumping over the table. There you go. They're in the meeting room. What was that? They're in the meeting room. Okay. This is what we're looking at right now. You want us to like read over this? I believe that's just what Bucky uh, is asking. Yeah, I, I'm reading it. Okay. Because I'm already reading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
somehow missed the sell merchandise part of this yesterday. <laughs> Deployed authorization by command members or special agents, this force is to be deployed in response to, but not limited to, otherworldly, enhanced, or unconventionally powered persons, beings, or threats. When not in operation, members are expected to return to their daily lives. So they get to fight aliens, right. So it's like, um, so this is why I am not... This is why, you know, like, yes, Bucky's part of Cerberus, right? But he's not working directly with the FIB. You know what I mean? Which is why I don't, um, right. And this only comes into play for things not to do with cops. That might be, right. The team leader must A, be a member of the initiative, B, appointed with the acting director of the FIB, and C, be a law enforcement officer of the rank of senior deputy officer and above. Right. It's contracted agents that aren't initially, which is why it's, it, I, I don't immediately want to shut it down. LDO, this is for the team re leader. This is for the team leader. The recruitment membership and termination, the recruitment for additional initiative members is to be done via the following standards. Individuals of exceptional training ability, power, technological ideation, and or intelligence. Individual comes recommended by at least two standing initiative members. Individuals approved by the acting director of the FIB. Individual has no violent felonies on record. These standards are expected to be maintained at all times throughout membership. Any of these standards being violent. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Um. Not so much a problem clarification. There is deployment authorized by command members or special agents. There is a reference to the special agents and who they might be, but there's no reference to command members. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Let's try batons to also sound fun. Eagle. I can try and sell merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might appeal to a certain demographic. It would have to be a completely separate division to the FIB. That is my main takeaway from it. It would be under the FIB, yes. But it would be separate to the investigations that would be going on here. Be like a black division. So would you say then then it would be more of like the acting body or what's discovered by the FIB? No. Or then Wait, is it like FIB's own HVTU? But for specific no. uh I don't, I don't I don't think so. I don't believe no no no. It is to it is to deal with unexplainable threats that sometimes are present within the city, if I am understanding correctly. Yeah. So how does this uh, coincide with the investigators that we have that specifically deal with the supernatural? Okay, you want to be the sh the shooters? I mean, we could talk in hypotheticals. Okay. I, okay, then speak with the in hypotheticals because, I mean, in scenarios where we need someone to show up and tactfully, like, shoot for things, we have SWAT deployment and we also have the HVTU. Where, where does it fit in that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you would come in and join the units that are responding to that? As, like, extra firepower? So you want to be a weapon for us. I mean the team. I'm using you as a hypothetical. Okay. 
And then, as far as, like, um... Do agents count towards the on-duty cap? Oh, I don't even know if Sorry, I'm just... No, point, no, yeah, I, know, I, know, I know exactly. I know real, I that know is a real fucking question. I just want to say, that's real. You have to consider that. Are you meaning hard, agents are members... hard cap is 80, right? Yeah, are you meaning agents right. are so... members of uh, this team? Yeah, no, no I, I, I no, think... No, you wouldn't... No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like... I believe if there I was mean, some sort Halloween of Halloween is around the corner That's... and we have a seasonal condition of zombies. Yeah. Yeah, no, what, what my thinking is if there was something like that where a breakout, I, I, you know, the over mm -hmm. 40 might be extended for special circumstances. Yeah, but the hard cap is 80, yeah? Yes, to my knowledge. And do you mean, you mean like special agents and agents? Do they count towards your cap? Is that what you're asking? Copper. Yeah, I know. No, you're not here to ping Chase. Just um. The question I... is, if you were involved in it, would you have keys to the PD building and you'd be able to assist us in situations in which case you would start? Because you would need to be on the same radio with us. Yeah, he's hired by Pred. Yeah. Okay. So technically, he would count towards the cap, but. I guess it would be like, you know, we have a bomb at Mission Row. We need to call the this little squad that has been put together for disarming bombs that have had experience. I drive my car to Legion Square, and there is a massive 60-foot spider. I would be like, okay, spin up the Blink Initiative. I didn't see what you saw, Bucky. Uh, so you what you... Uh, Call the bomb unit for bombs. You call SIU for races and boosting. Yeah. You called the initiative for... Oh, fuck. What do we do with this? A 60-foot spire. Yeah. Would the initiative be called for the ma like a massive Russian submarine off the coast? <laughs> it's a yes or a no. <laughs> so if it is an event <laughs> yes oh yeah uh i guess if uh if the pd events fall under the category of supernatural then yes we would call upon you Because I know officers are going to shoot at whatever. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think we are on the same page now. Mm -hmm. Because we have uh, other supernatural things, but it's a uh, large investigative type stuff. Like, do you do you know the difference of what I'm talking about, Bucky? Like, let's say we have a uh, an investigation that's been going on with officers, and we are... What the fuck is happening right now? Uh, this table is awful. They are, they are fighting the tooth fairy that um, uses uh, a hammer to tap out people's teeth and, you know, just tortures people. But they're like a weird supernatural being that manifests and can dis disappear in like a poof of glitter. Okay. Okay. What about situations like, let's say the this particular tooth fairy, um isn't affected by bullets. <laughs> well, I like his thinking. So 
Well, I guess, you know, if somebody lived at a uh, I'm just like, why have we dog? thought of that? Yeah, why? Special unit you know, to deal with people who live we, with boat dogs. We almost had a NASA program. What? Really? Uh, about like, three-ish years ago. Damn. Snow and I were trying to spin up the NASA program. I almost forgot and then about everybody the. Everybody was like, "How are you gonna do that? You have no money." I was like, "You guys oh. are toxic. Fuck you." And then someone started making SpaceX. It was very fucked up. Huh. I very almost, fucked up. I almost forgot about the Terminator as well. I got on his motorcycle last year. He shot yeah. me. I, I dressed up as a woman and claimed that I was. Yeah, I fought the. Connors. Well, there was the the good Terminator and then the bad Terminator. I think they both shot me. Yeah. I was I was on that chase. That was yeah. I was so I was there. yeah. See yeah. I was Bucky. there too. Yeah. Or like when when Batman <laughs> comes around. Yeah, yep. I remember Batman. Yep, yep. I think uh, I think we're all on the same page of when this would be necessary. Xenomorphs, zombies, aliens, Batman. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Hey, do you guys remember when was it Iron Man was fighting? <laughs> uh, the predator. Yes. <laughs> and like, like the boy Wonder showed up too. I think the worst one <laughs> was uh those fucking aliens that jumped everywhere. Oh yeah yeah. Cause oh. everyone was just dead in Mirror Park, and I just left my house and was like, well. Yeah. And that was right before I joined the FIB. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're all on the I same can page. see why this would be useful. Okay. Okay, I can see why that would be what? a conflict of interest, yeah, Bucky. This is a conf well, yeah, do you on, get on with your on, cousin? Hold on, you say that, but Pred is also my brother. Andrews is my dad. Jordan Steele is my half brother. And uh, Dean Watson is my husband, so we can put conflicts of interest aside. But thank you for telling us, Bucky. <laughs> I think as long yeah, as it's on the like, like, yeah, I think as long as it's on the table, it's fine. Yeah. Just be open with your conflicts. All, All right. right. Well, productive. Yeah. We cannot sell merchandise out to this building, though. I have a feeling that's a... That I, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm about to get the phone call. <laughs> okay. Um, let me... Let me let this digest. As far as the feedback on here, this conversation that we had, you mm -hmm. need to outline this. Do you have and ideas? If, sorry, go on. Yeah, um, the change that Winston said, but um you, if you have to do like a hypothetical example or specifically state like those particular sort of events that happen on the island oh okay i do have a russian language teacher he's his name is reznik he's a cadet i found him outside of uh, bolingbrook like two years ago and then I made, I hired him as a cop. Nice. Do you have any ideas for other members of the team, Bucky? Since this is uh, your idea. Like what's, what is Winston? Don't hit the TV, uh oh. Don't pay attention to that. Okay. It's not there. <laughs> he can be Hawkeye. <laughs> How, the fuck How are you I going to Hawkeye? use a bow? I don't know. What? What did you say, Bucky? Yeah, I missed what, if you said something. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it down. Wait, so you Black Widow or Nick Fury? I 
Bucky. No, you call him. Director of FIBS is Fury. Is Fury. Uh, oh, okay. He's going by the name Titanium now. The acting director approves all. Okay. Oh, wait, you don't mean off like officer deputy theory, right? Or do you? No. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Because I was like, okay, okay. He, he, yeah, he is busy. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, I don't know. Possibly. Um, how do you feel about Brian Knight? Woo! Okay. Okay. I... You know who I was thinking, actually? The Mandalorian. We need a contact. Uh, Are Jeffrey you talking Price. about Jeffrey Price? Yeah, Jeffrey Price, the Mandalorian. Oh. Uh, I think he may have lost his senior when he went to SDSO, but I mean, he was a senior officer. I would be okay with Jeffrey Price. Bison? What about the king of the mountain? Wait, who's the king of the mountain? Flop. Flop's the king of the mountain? <laughs> oh my god. I thought he was the king who got mounted, but okay. It's all coming together. Okay. Okay. Yeah, would that I, would that make Dean Thanos? I have a very strange dream that uh, would make him I'm that. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> I can see no isn't, relation. Isn't he like Lex Luthor but with hair? I guess I was just talking about his prosthetic hammock. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's whatever. It's made out of moon rocks. It is gold. It does have gems in it. No, really? Okay. No! Wait! I am not She-Hulk. Because not all I am is a lawyer. <laughs> okay. Fix up your document to outline the things that we talked about. Not these things, like, verbatim, but... I guess like how how the in, the initiative would come in and outline the threats that it would like. I see these supernatural beings and stuff like that, but this makes me think of like EBGB spooky stuff, right? Not like like put um what's it called? Like add like a you know an article of when. Predator showed up and was murdering everybody in Mare Park. <laughs> or like an article of The Terminator. The Terminator where there was a battle between the T one thousand and the T I don't know, I forgot what the other one is. My Terminator lore is pretty fucked up right now. I'm on my way back. Yes, really? Because as it stands, how this document is, like, pieced together? 
okay, well, probably two weeks because that's how long it took for you to put this together when I told you to make it. Oh, you don't have to put news. No, no, no. Just, just, just write just examples. Just, it, just right like uh, reference. Um, roughly the the uh, like year of when it happened, the location. Uh, the Terminator was sighted in Mirror Park. Local law enforcement went there. It was a slaughter. He was a being of supernatural abilities. Blah blah blah. Like as an example. Yeah. Have you ever done a book report before? <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to make it so that a small you... example of how what you put in front of us can be misunderstood, like between the the, the three of us talking to you, okay, and how that was misunderstood. Now imagine the entire PD doing that, and then you're over there with your notepad, and you're like, "I'm so sorry, how it really is. It's like when I'm a Superman show." Just so that you don't have to do that. This is... Is that how you hear Bucky? Because that's how I hear Bucky. I'm reading text and I'm not hearing <laughs> voice contact. So I... How I'm reading this is like really not what you mean. You already write so much. What's a little bit more? That says I doesn't understand this. Okay, well, I don't think that's anyone in this room. I think there's a number of people who would probably pick holes in it. Uh, even yes. if they agree with it, they would pick holes in it. I mean, the point... both of us went, yeah, this is cool. But by the way, you might need to like change this and this. I did have a full, uh... Not because it doesn't have a ping, but... You know, even the FIB has had issues, even though people support it, because there are things that they can interfere with actual cop work. And it gets uh, difficult there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can do that, because that's like, uh... Like, IT guy kind of stuff. No, I, I think he's saying that people would complain about it at big uh, places. Right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Touch crap. Valid. Yo, Bucky's actually the head of my PR department. Yeah, he's based. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what the concerns were brought to me was, isn't Bucky completely affiliated with Cerberus? And I said, we're having a meeting. Yeah, I, I could see that as an opposition. Yep. They don't? Oh. Where are we going to get the shock batons from? Okay. Yeah, Bucky birthed this himself. <laughs> Beg him for what? Shock batons. Shock batons? Oh. Yeah, but I want... I want <laughs> shock batons that are like the, the shock rod that like Sherlock Holmes has. When he like zaps that like seven foot guy and he goes flying backwards, that shit like is a funny. Cattle prod, but with yeah. fucking explosives in it. Yeah, oh. instead of like electrocuting you, you just like fly backwards. Black. Yeah. Yeah, that please. Um. Well, I mean, let's, let's see how okay. Well, you presented this, and one. then you asked 
uh, what do you, what issues do you have? I told you what those were. If you don't want to hear it, then I guess you're still at square one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also for those people like read it and they're like, nah, this really isn't for me. And you know, there is going to be some people that are like that. Like there's people that I don't do aliens or I don't do serial killers. I don't do. Oh, hello. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, exactly. They can go back to but, bed. <laughs> and that's fine. And they can do that. But um, I also, I just want to, I want the, the point I'm making, if you add these in here, that will put to rest a lot of the naysaying and clear up the obvious confusion here because we have attack we have several different types of tactical units whether it is uh explosives hostage situations high speed chasing uh snipers and they all have their own initiatives right and they work as a tool for the entire pd and they dress must be able to... Oh, I can't oh. say it. Well, that's why it's the blink issue. Mm -hmm. You just don't. No, they just, they're just, yeah. Asshole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, right, right. And if anybody does, we're just like, Need to know basis. Gaslight people. Mm -hmm. I think the thing with this is it's it's just all about how it's going to be presented. And I agree with Copper that it needs those specific examples. So it's not like this is going to be ever present the in the city. Of, yeah, for the purpose of this document, refer reference those events as like it's a oh well this was a happening, it was in the newspapers, or this was like because it's a known thing, right? So people can associate with that. Yeah, exactly. Right. These the particular to these types type of, of events. Threats. Yeah, these are these are examples of those. Yeah, to be used in aid with the uh, unified police department, whatever the responding forces to whatever this threat is. I'm still trying to figure out what Winston's going to be. Mm. Where's the guy from Teen Titans? I was just thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, be cable, man. I think it's going to be more carbon fiber than metal, but I, it looks similar. Yeah, to be Jax. Mortal Kombat. Just time travel, man. Be Cable. Only one time, though. You can only time travel one time. Don't I have to travel backwards, though? Well, here you can travel anywhere you want, but you can only do it one time. Okay, I'll travel. But you, what if seconds. you time travel back oh, to infinitely oh, yeah, have yeah, multiple right. time travels? I've I've traveled once already. Oh, okay. I just he just force lord it. And you chose twenty twenty two. All right, good dude. Damn. And you don't know what happens in the future. Thanks. This is actually a decent one. Uh oh. It's not actually. This is terrible. Ah, uh, it's all about perspective. <laughs> okay. Um. High Command needs to see this. 
fuck me. Oh my god! He's literally going to give you a hand. <laughs> that was actually the first time that was an appropriate use of that joke and it didn't hurt my feelings. Okay, Bucky, but what about mine? <laughs> no, don't. I think... Something might be in the works. I don't know how the 3D printing's going. I lost my left you know, arm like the first month after the economic collapse. And then. Yeah, you want Barksdale beat me with the TV and I lost one eye? And then when I was doing a, a stakeout. Some criminals came up and they tried to execute me cartel style. And I lost another eye and half of my head. Oh. But you know, just like how women couldn't use clipboards or hold cups of coffee, you know. <laughs> Some stuff that just isn't visible. You have to use your imagination or squint the entire time. Mm -hmm. Or, um, just yeah, like I have we, no we, eyes. We still cannot, uh, I'm a freak. Use, use leaf blowers. No eyes. No eyes. Or cameras. One arm <laughs> flying. Or cameras. Yep. That one's actually super useful. Purple people eater. That's me. Okay. It's great being a woman in this city. This document needs to go <laughs> in front of high command and the other corresponding command members so that they don't shoot you if you show up there or arrest you. Them? Right. Okay, but you realize that if uh, y this just goes on, like you're just gonna get shut down, and if they don't know anything about it, that's just that's just not how PD works. It also needs approval from the acting or director, anything. and we also need to, yeah. <laughs> what about Mark? Oh, who was acting director at the FIB? It's complicated at the moment without getting in contact with them. Yep, I will pass it on. Please make those changes before you have those conversations because otherwise you're going to be re like re having this conversation again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This is a great productive meeting. Yeah. This is this like is beautiful. Yeah, this is a productive hey, meeting Bruce. room, even though the chairs suck in here. So just getting over this yeah, table. Just move <laughs> out of the way. That was pretty clever.
Hello, hello. All right, here you are, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Great talking with you guys. Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting us down. Hey, mm. I have a question. Hi. I have a million more meetings. You guys Yo. have a great day. Stay safe. As do I. All right. You see me, guys. Why Booba left through that meeting? Where did he go? Hello? Hi, where are you? I'm on the roof. Oh. Uh, can I come up, or where are you on the roof? Yeah, you can come up. It's fine. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, that's good. You turn. Here's your uh, stuff back. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I just needed some air. Okay. I hope you understand. Um through at least what you heard in that meeting uh that it is not a Cerberus thing what he is proposing and that Cerberus does not even know about it yeah I, I understand that but people are indebted to people Which is why he wants Copper to lead it. He does not want to be in charge. So then why is it... Why is it here? What do you mean, why is it here? If he wants Copper to be in charge of it, then why is he... What was about meeting with Forcer about it? Because he initially... He... It all requires approval from the FIB because he believes it should be a federal level. Why were you in the meeting? <laughs> a federal okay, level. Okay, so he wants groups. approval, but he doesn't want us to... It anything will work, else to it do will, with it? It will work in tandem with every organization. Are you... Did you listen to... It will work in tandem I mean, with every... for the every... most part, but what's stopping him from just doing it with the PD and going forward? He could do that, but he wants to involve us. Okay, I think I understand now. He wants it to be a federal level thing. Yes. And he wants the acting director to basically be Nick Fiore. Who is that? If you watch any of the Avengers movies. I don't even He's... know what that means. Okay, the Avengers move. Oh shit, I can't say that word. But it's basically the person that makes the call to whether to bring in what the word? people. Avenger? Uh, yeah. Don't use the word. Why? What's up? Uh, Sloan and I Avenger, need to go Avenger, oh, Avenger, 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 just, uh, Avenger. to get our wounds Ow, tended to. So what the nothing hell? major happened. We're just being idiots. So I said I to not... you know we're leaving the building. Is that did not use the word? Sorry, you need to say that again. Avenger. I said Sloan and I are heading to Viceroy Ow. to get our wounds tended You said to. say it again! Okay, nothing happened other than just being idiots. Okay. So we'll we'll be back in a in a few. Okay. What the 
radio. Stop doing that. I couldn't. I need a band aid. Never side. Yeah, that's fine. No, Thank but you. we were told not to use that word. So we are not using that word. By who? Everybody that was present in that room. Alright, I won't say Avenger. Uber? I just said I won't say it. You did. You said it anyway. Everybody in that room managed to not say that word. I don't know why it's so difficult. I don't see why it is a problem. I Because I'm telling you it is. All right, I won't say that word. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust Bucky, so I'll... I'll go along with it. Temporarily. You would be in charge. Have... So, this is something you need to pay attention to. He is making edits to the document, and I'm going to resubmit it to you. All right, that's fine. Yeah, just do that. I'm not saying yes or no yet. Okay, well, it's also being proposed to... it, it Because it's just working in tandem, just like we are, to the other heads of uh, law enforcement command. It will also be brought to their eyes. All right. As feelers. But again, it's... Uh, You know, it is, it is just, I think it is beneficial. Copper and Winston also believed it to be that. It can be an asset to the city. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad idea. I just, like I said, if it wasn't Bucky or someone else that had a, I mean, it's not even that it's Bucky. It's just someone with a a connection to people that we really cannot deal with at all. Yes, but this is a... Uh... You can say it's not connected all you like, but Bucky then, is then a we person. Should, then we should not be working with Copper. What do you want me to say? Why? Because her husband's Dean Watson? And her brother is Fred and... You know, she just listed all of her conflicts. I mean, the difference is, is Copper is already a cop, for starters. I've known Copper for a decent amount of time. I mean, is Bucky not a mystery to you? I've known Bucky for a very long time. Okay, well, what does he do in the city? He works, he works for Cerberus. He also works for Pred. I know these okay, things. Okay, but and what he does he says, do? He says these things. Yeah, but what does he do? He does a lot. And not a lot of great stuff. But it, it is not... I am looking at this for what he has proposed and what he wants to bring. It, it, I am looking at this beyond... Just Bucky. I don't want to say no to this because it is Bucky bringing it. It is Bucky's brainchild, yes. I, I am not going to say no. I don't want to say no to it because it is Bucky. If you want to say no to it, it is fine. But do you need to tell Why Copper I'm that? entertaining the idea is because as long as it doesn't have a connection to the FIB besides it being acknowledged, I don't have a problem with that. It, it would be under the FIB. Which means we'd be responsible for whatever they do. Which means he would have some sort of access to documentation. No. He's in the FIB. He'll have doc if the documents they, they have will be FIB documents. They would not have documents. Okay, how does that work? Why didn't you stay in the meeting? I understand, but there's not there. 
that is not going to get approved. There's just no documentation about anything that they currently do and what will do. That's they not going to get accepted. Going to, they're going to come in when there are supernatural threats in the city. They get called in as a tactical force. Yeah, I understand that, but there's going to be documentation on what they do. Yes. They would report back to the director. Like I said, I, I'm not saying yes or no. I'll see whatever revisions he makes. I cannot talk for you. I am incredibly crippled by the fact that I do not have LEO training and it is incredibly frustrating to me. I do not know what is going on in your head at all times. It is why I'm refraining from making any calls at the moment. This is why I refrain from giving my opinions. Okay, well, when I ask for your opinion, you share your opinion. That's all I wanted, was to know what you thought of it, and what you thought of Bucky, a part of it. I wanted to know your opinion on if you thought Bucky being a part of it was a problem. He did not phrase it like that, and my answer is no. Okay, what if tomorrow... Why I don't even know what Bucky does. That's the problem. I want to know what Bucky does for Cerberus. And I don't want to just hear security because I don't believe that. I don't think Bucky would just be doing security. I just know this is... <sighs> I truly believe this is separate from Cerberus. And that's why I'm contemplating it. Because of your opinion. Trust me, it is a lot easier to just say no and forget about it. But look at what happened. What do you mean, look at what happened? Look at everything that happened because of Pred and Cerberus and the mayor. I did not understand. For starters, bench guy is gone. And honestly, that's enough for me. To not even consider working with people that are even affiliated by the slightest sense <laughs> I I do not know I do not know what to be saying to that then we should not eat shrug, eh? Why? Why? Because who helped Joseph get the building? Well, apparently... 
there is a disconnect between that side of Dean Watson. I don't know how that's possible, but again, there are means to an end. I'm, I'm more concerned about documentation and information. So you say you do not want to work with anybody that... It... With Pred that is unpred. I do not want to work with Pred. Pred is an idiot. So was the mayor. The mayor brought a Cuban into the building. No, I'm pretty sure that was Pred. No, it was the mayor. Talking about Pinga Fria? Yeah. Yeah, he was with Pred. He was Maybe also, they were all together. He but... was also with Nikki. Mickey was looking for Pred that day. Pred cares about himself. That is always the case. You have to understand that I'm working with the example of leadership that I had. I understand this. And I'm going to follow that example to the T as much as I can. And do you understand that I have had many other types of leadership? What do you mean? You're saying that affecting how your response to me or? Uh, in one way, yes. At the end of the day, I'm, my, my understanding of my role here is to make sure that everybody in this building is happy. And that's just what I'm going to do. Safe. Happy and that is under the definition of happy for me. We can't be happy if they're dead or injured. Yeah, but you can be safe and not happy. Yes, that is why I said happy. And not safe. I don't want them to be safe here and unhappy. I want them to be happy and safe here. I want them to want to come to work in this building. Not feel obligated to come to work in this building. Okay, so what if one of the people that Bucky... That is a part of this group... Makes someone feel unsafe or unhappy? They will not be in this building. Do you believe that? Yes. It will be in this building very, very... ...rarely. We bring people into this building all of the time.
like I said, I'm just gonna see what the changes he makes. I'm not saying yes or no. I will look at it. I will look at it with a as best of a outside of Cerberus mindset that I can. But disagree with me if you want. It's better to look at things with that connection. For the safety of everyone involved. That's fine. Do you uh, agree with that? Yes. Good. But the second part of what I was talking about was I was that was beyond talking about the initiative. One more time. The last statements I was making, I was beyond talking about the initiative when people are being happy and safe in this building. Let me call you back, Isaac, unless it's an urgency. Trying to make the decisions I think he would make. I don't think you should. You talk to me different too. You realize this? And I did not like yeah. it. Not even Ben's gonna talk to me like you talk to me. Sorry. I'm not a police officer. I know that. But if you want to be an agent, that's going to be the way things are going to be. Honestly, anymore, I am not so sure. I told you before, I came back to help you. I came back to help you and to run this place. I know that is something you want, and I don't know if it's because of the way things have gone historically from trying to become a police officer to dealing with everything that's happened here, but I genuinely no, think no, that no, you no. still want that. Look, I like helping people in this building. I'm just trying to be the person I think I have to be to be a leader here. You do not have to be the person you think you have to be. Do not be that person. Well, it was pretty obvious that people didn't think that I could be a leader. Do you mean when you return? No, before I left. What do you mean? What was the first thing we did? The first meeting we had. What was the first thing that we saw? What? The first thing we saw, Booba. First thing we saw was... Yeah, I understand, but... N listen.
to us that means you don't want it you don't want to be a director do you Tell me honestly, do you want to be the director? I want Bench Guy to be the director. Okay, well, if that is not possible, do you want to be the director? Yeah. Okay. That is you then, okay? It is not director Booba Bench Guy. I don't want to work for a director booba bench guy. I understand what you're saying. I still may have to make decisions you won't like. I know that. I'm not saying that you need to listen to and do whatever I say. But you are giving orders and not asking. And I think you just have to ask yourself, is that the kind of leader you want to be? I was always given orders. Is that, uh, that's not what I asked. In a building full of civilian, mostly civilian workers. Is that the kind of leader you want to be right now? No. Okay. Just be keeping that in mind, yeah? Everybody understands there is information that not everybody can know. Do and I both know how much it sucks being shut out of conversations. There is a difference in being told Posey Booba, I need you to stay in the hall. And Posey Booba, stay in the hall. Do 
Very small change in words, but it makes a difference. All right. I care about you. I care about everybody in this building. And this is why, I mean, I, I don't know if I want to become an agent. You think that'll change you caring about people? No. It's because I think I'm better at this. I think I've had individual conversations with almost everybody in this building at this point. I want to make sure they are comfortable working here. And that they're also happy with themselves. I want you to be happy with yourself. I don't want you to feel like shit. You feel like shit. If I made you feel like shit, then I feel real bad. Please don't feel like shit. Oh, you didn't do it. No, 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 wait. If you, made your, if you think you made yourself feel like shit, then I did a real bad job. You know there was a spider in Legion Square? It almost just made me jump. Wait, what? Yeah, you said spider. Oh. Well, it's not my fault. There's, there's a spider in Legion Square. Why is there a spider in Legion Square? Halloween. You think we can see it from here? No. What? It's huge! Unless. It's huge! What do you mean, no? Oh my. Okay, I can see it. I just can't see it unless I pull out my camera. I think that thing is going to come to life, Uber. And we'll kill it. And then I'll eat it. You're going to eat it? Yeah. And it'll be real crunchy. Maybe it'll be like a crab. Oh. I haven't eaten a crab yet. You're not eating that really? No. Oh. I'm good. They're good with butter. And then they put the hot sauce in the butter, then it's real good. You just go pick one out of the ocean and then rub a stick of butter on it? No, no, you need to boil it. Oh. But that is what uh, the initiative's for. If that shit comes to life down there. Yeah, it's okay. We have bullets. Yeah, but... You yeah, I still don't have a gun. I haven't been to the police station since I got back. Oh, my gun's broken on my back. Do you remember? Yeah, I, haven't, do you I haven't gone on duty yet. Do once. You, do you remember uh, when the predators, the aliens, were in Mirror Park? And they took down every police unit? Every single one no, of them. No, I don't think so. When was that? Last October. Oh, oh no, I no, remember. You were, you, were, you were still cavemen then. I remember getting locked in Batman's car. 
and then Rami got in and drove it and it went like super fast and I was stuck inside of it and I couldn't get out. And this was literally right before the, uh, I left my job at Burger Shots and, was, and I joined the FIB. So you weren't at the FIB yet. Almost. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Because I still had an illegal AK in my house and I used it against the aliens. Oh. Yeah. You know why I came to this building? Why? Because one time I uh, met an orange-haired person outside of MRPD and he told me there was a surprise on top of Mount Chiliad. He told me that story. <laughs> And I went all the way to the top of Mount Chiliad and there was nothing there. So then I was mad, but also I still wanted to be his friend. So I tried to find him and I found this place and I remembered the symbols. At the time, I didn't know what letters were. And I just went inside and I sat down. And then I brought my friends here. It was... Pedro, I think Shelly. Can't remember everyone. Oh, Gary, I think too. And they waited with me for a little bit and then they left and I just waited and waited and waited till I saw him. He told me to get the hell out. And I told him no. I also couldn't read, so I didn't know what the signs meant. Yeah, he told me to get out too, so then I went across the street. Then we signed a bunch of paperwork. And then every day, or every storm, I figured it reset, so I'd just go and i sit back on top of the desk. Until he hired me. You know the first thing you ever taught me? Hmm. Sometimes you have to hurt people to help people. Oh, he told me to teach you how to use a fucking phone. You know, he ta told that to Scruffy, too? Yes. And Scruffy says that he taught me how to use a phone even though he didn't. When people are downstairs at the, like, Anna and, uh, Odessa especially, I don't know they'll be able to come upstairs because I like having people in the office space that's not a problem they can do that mm -hmm. there needs to be someone in the lobby though yeah no i want to refill that position i told uh, isaac he's a clerk too you're the worst what you had a meeting with them why didn't you tell them in the meeting What do you mean? Why didn't you tell them in the meeting? In which meeting? The ones you had yesterday! He made me the bad guy? No, I already told him, that's what I'm saying. You didn't tell them because I just asked him today. Oh, well I told him today. You didn't tell- when? Earlier. Within the last- before I came up here? Yes. Did he hear you? It was right before Cobber got here. Okay. Because I had this whole conversation about sand castles and sometimes the windows get knocked out to sand castles and he said this is the most creative way I've ever been told I'm fired. What? Yeah, I thought I was firing him. Sand castles? Yeah, I said that, uh... That might is that be... more of your role-playing? No. Sounds like role playing. It is not role. 
you don't even know what role playing is. Yeah, maybe not. But I don't want it. Now, I said the FIB building is like a sand castle. You ever built a sand castle? Yeah, and then I destroy them. Okay, well, the FIB is like a sand castle. And everybody has their own window. Like, you poke holes in the sand and make a window. And... Oh, I think I just thought of the first... No, wait, that wasn't the first time. You just made me think of a time I was on the beach with... Penny... I think a couple other people. It was right before Tsunami. And Buddha came there. And I was... Like I used to be. Shirtless. No shoes. Building and running through sandcastles. And Buddha was there watching me. Hmm. Well, anyway, I said that, you know, they got higher windows in the sandcastle. But those windows collapse. And now they're back in the lower windows. But that doesn't mean that the windows up higher in the sand castle won't be made again. Just not right now. And that the whole FIB building is like... It keeps... It's like a sand castle that people keep trying to get knocked down. But... Thank God it's not made of sand. Yeah, but... And sometimes some parts do get knocked down. But there's always somebody holding up a surfboard or something to negate the wave. So while you were gone, and Corsa really was not around, I was in charge of making sure the sandcastle did not completely fall apart. And now you're back and you have a different plan for the sandcastle, so you're building it now. And you're making the windows different, and that is fine. Because everybody still has a window. It just not might be, might not be the view that they were wanting, or had before. That's also why I did not hire Ari right now, because she does not fit in the window that we have currently. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Honestly, she probably should pass. Cadet training. That's what they told entirely. her. Entirely. That's what I told her. Then we can discuss the idea after that. Okay, so if Isaac's a clerk, what the fuck do I do with Ace? Well, Isaac's gonna continue the work that he was doing. Okay. He's just going to do it as a clerk. Okay, He's so already aware of that. Okay, so do I make Ace a clerk then too? I do want... Ace will get his uh, gun license in... Another day. He can have an unlabeled position for now. Unlabel? Okay. Can make him an intern. Wasn't it you that made a big deal about me calling someone an intern? Oh, Steven. What happened to that? I don't think Steven fits here. Oh, I'm glad you could see that. Yeah, call him an intern. Also, I want him to wear something else. Okay. Something that makes him look like an intern. Suspenders. I wear suspenders, but I pulled them off. Yeah, something like that. People are going to think he's an agent. Can anyone wear an FIB badge? Yeah. Anyone, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That means that's not something we're going to have to worry about. I mean, I technically could. Yeah, 
unfortunately, uh, the only uh, one that we have right now printed is Special Agent. Yep. Oh, the other thoughts um, for the... Because Copper wasn't... I know, I I, went, I bounced back. Uh, no, that, I don't want to go back and talk about this anymore. We'll talk about what? it next week. Talking about the Bucky thing? Yeah, the initiative thing. It, who would be the lead, team lead? Uh, they brought up Jeffrey Price. I thought wouldn't be Has bombed. he ever been here since the day he came? Uh, he has not been back. All right, we'll assume he doesn't work here anymore. Oh, no, he, he's not in the roster. This was about the other thing. Price being a team lead? Yeah, for the other unit. Maybe. The other one was flop. I don't know about that one. I don't know if he fits that role very well. I think it would just be funny. He's more like a goofy side character. I think it'd be funny. Do you know the Hulk? The Hulk? No. No. Man, all these months I've been away and you haven't gotten up to date on any fucking movies? I have gotten up to date on fucking movies. I only watch the ones I find at Digital Den. What about the Guild Hall? They have movies there? I don't think they do. They have comic books? That's not movies, Posey. I mean, it, you know, it's something. Or the internet? The internet is scary. But it's useful? No, it is scary. It's useful? There are scary people and scary things on the internet. Oh, man. I feel like there's always someone watching me. Yeah, the F... It's us. We, we watch people on the internet, Uva. No, I watch people in bathrooms. What? You didn't know that? You're watching the wrong monitors. No, I'm not. Why the... Why are you watching people in bathrooms? Because that's when they always do the bad stuff, because they think no one's watching. I think that's illegal. Thank God we don't have to worry about that. Yep. What did Isaac want, by the way? I don't know. Oh. Okay, it can't be that important. I really don't like that spider. I'm gonna cry it if it comes. Look at it. I'm gonna cry if it and comes it to life. Exist. Apparently, there's one at the court's house too. If you don't see it, it doesn't exist. That's a very dangerous. Okay, I want to look up Cerberus. Yeah, there you go. Ah. <sighs> I need to get changed.
a lot of gunfire. Yeah, that, that is. But it's not us, thankfully. Going yeah, and there is. Sounds like Legion Square. I'm pretty sure Rami and them were talking about something going off at Legion Square, which made me say, I'm not doing any of that. Yeah. Yeah. What's all that shooting? Come down Square. to Legion Square BDM area to throw shoes at Conan Clarkson. Oh, yeah, it's probably <laughs> that then. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. No, no, they're they're shooting over there. Do you need anything, Posey? Uh no. How's everybody doing? I'm probably not much longer for this world. I think you should have gone to sleep two hours ago, actually. I yeah, I agree. I, know. I will start making you run yeah. laps of this building if you start yawning. No, it's not that. She already did. She already did. I'm yeah. telling on you. You need to lay down, honestly, at this point. I know. I just, I'm snap, crackle, pop, and every time I, like, I guess, you know, whatever. Every time I get out of a chair, it sounds like somebody's stepping on a big roll of bubble wrap. I'm not having a good couple of days physically. So it's, uh, but it hurts to lay down, so I might as well just be here. Otherwise, I would absolutely be back in my apartment laying down. I'm probably not being around much longer either. So many meetings. Good meetings though. Productive ones. Mm. Oh yeah, That's Anna, good. didn't you want to talk about uh, your concerns uh, or no? yeah. But what is the concerns? Bucky. Um... Do you know what's going on with Bucky at all besides you, what you he You probably did. should go upstairs yeah. and can have some lunch. Okay. This. Yeah. I know that he worked for Fred, and I know that he worked for Cerberus. He still works for Cerberus. I, I, no, I said I know that he works for. I know that he works for those two. He, yeah, he doesn't work with Fred anymore. No, uh, he does. Fred still here? Oh, does he? Uh, yeah. Oh, Anna. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's unavoidable at this point. Eh. So, yeah, um... Bucky... Do you know how Bucky came across his arm? How he got his arm? It is a... It is a prototype for Cerberus. Correct, but that, that prototype for Cerberus also came at a price. Wow. You ever heard of uh, sleeper agents? Yes. Ones that can be activated at any time for any reason. Okay. Well, that's Bucky. Well, Bucky, the Bucky that we saw earlier today is the one that we know and love and want to protect and help and everything else. <clears throat> Bucky has a little thing inside that arm that if they choose to, you know, activate him, he will literally fucking kill every single person in his general vicinity for with no questions asked. You just do it. So, therein lies a problem, I think. Okay. A, a large, a large problem, mm -hmm. I think. So, yeah. Um. So. I don't know what you wanted, but I figured that was, you know, 
it's not widespread common knowledge, but there's quite a few people in the city that know about his, like, basically his Winter Soldier thing. Because he's been activated a couple of times. One of those times was for the uh, war in Sandy Creek. Because that's when I learned about it. Like, the Sandy Shores thing. So. And, uh, he was activated on behalf of what party? Uh, neither. Just destroy. So, he was actively against all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to bring that to your attention in just in case you didn't know about that. Um... I'm not sure if it's still an active ongoing thing, but considering he is still employed by them, I'm pretty sure that it is, and that's, I guess, their way of keeping tabs on him or keeping an eye on him or whatever. All right. Um, I'm going to try to get the... I'll ask for the schematics of his arm, perhaps. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, I'll bring it to the attention of Buva, and we'll see from there. Okay. okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure that he that Bucky would probably give me the schematics because he knows that you know I was building stuff and all that kind of shit, whatever for for humane and shit like that goes. Because mm -hmm. he, he came to he came to 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 me and uh, Roman at one point about his arm. Okay. We weren't able to help him, so. All right. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, let me go through Buba and uh, we'll uh. I'll see if we can figure it out this way. Okay. Yeah, it's right. not Bucky I'm worried about. It's that it's that fucking arm. Okay. <laughs> so, All right. Yeah. Thank All you. Where did Booba go? Now, you, that's not to say you can't be here, but that's to say that Things are very easy. It was easy, would it be Posey's life? No. No, it would not. Does anyone need anything from me before I uh, head out and go to City Hall? No, I think uh, we're good. Thank you. All right. You guys yeah. have a good one and be gonna... safe. I'm going to be heading out myself. I didn't. I need to go and take a hot bath or something yep. like that in the apartment. So I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. And a good one.
No. Hey, what's your location? Uh, the FMB building. No, like where? Uh, I'm on the in the offices in the what the pit. Okay. Uh, I'm coming to you. Okay. Okay. See you in a second. Bye. Okay. Bye. We don't have. Hey. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's chat budget. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the pit. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's go in the air. Because, uh, this view's real nice. Okay. Wigwag, how we doing? Been a long day. I know. Okay. <laughs> She's had enough. Me too, dude. Yep. Me too. Alright. Yeah, okay. Right. You just want to get real friendly, huh? That's a thing. Okay. Okay, budget. Okay, budget. So, uh, I think we want to kind of revisit it now that we have a little bit more structure around, uh, roles, titles, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, first thought I had was just doing it by, like, seniority level. Okay. Uh, and then if there's going to be, like, titles slash roles that fall within, like, a seniority scope, it doesn't matter what your title or role is. Just everyone who's at that level would be paid basically the same. That would keep things a little bit simpler. Um, so, like... I think we kind of had started kind of down this path a little bit. So like clerks and security, for example, being at the same level. Nice. Um, now that we have unit involved and we had at one point talked about bringing in varying degrees of analysts, but have backed out on that. It, like that just kind of shot everything all to hell. So yeah. um, go, going back to square one, uh, what do we want to think through and put into place for the current structure and what is the current structure? That's a damn good question. Um, and I think it's also a good question of uh, so at the moment, right? There's you and me, right? There will eventually be analyst unit, right? Is a title, not a position right now. So at the moment, we have clerk, security, you and me, agents. Okay. Director. That's it. Period. End of story. Okay. So, and this is what uh, Booba talked to me about, that Odessa and Isaac are back to being clerk. Anna is security. Ace is an intern. Uh, which, uh, yeah, so get okay, unpaid internship for him. There is you and me, and then there's Izzy, which I don't know what to do with Izzy, but maybe she is also a clerk, and then, but she will never be downstairs. Okay. So the thing about Izzy and her specialization is eventually we'll want to have her have access to files, right? Right. Um, especially I... as we're getting into the server stuff. That yeah. was the specific request from Underwood and Copper originally. Um, so that's just something that we'll need to think through and talk through with Booba. Um, but for today, um, I, I care less about that. Yeah. I mean, Booba is um, still here. He's talking with Isaac. I don't know about what. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think Isaac was just waiting to kind of catch up on unit stuff. Mm -hmm. So unit unit's going to fall under clerk? Or is it just kind of like a non-existent? At the, at the moment, I don't know what Booba wants to do with units. Gotcha. Like, uh, like a trial... It's, see how it's it goes a, thing. Yeah, it's a trial to see how it goes thing, but he was very, you know, I got told, tell 
Phil Isaac, he is a clerk. I was like, oh, okay. okay. Uh, yep. So that that happened. Uh, Walking back on everything. Huh? Yep. So. All right. Yep. Hence Fantastic. The, hence the sandcastle analogy. Uh, <laughs> of. Yep. So. All right. So, but that basically just means those positions are not positions that would ever be anything other than i don't know i guess this falls back under like seniority level right it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter for budgeting purposes we would just place people who are going to be paid under whatever level of seniority they're going to have right and then pay them accordingly regardless of whatever their title or role would be right and this is where i differ from booba a little bit because i feel like everybody that is currently in this building deserves to be above janitors and i believe that we should get a new you know a fresh batch of clerks and security in um right but booba's argument which i understand is that you know booba and i we stood in the we were downstairs for months uh and, well, I'm like, yeah, but you don't want to do that to other people. Uh, he's like, yeah, but, you know, we did that, so it, it's, you know, it's kind of like a rite of passage almost. <laughs> so. So that's that's where that's coming from is... is I, I guess a little bit. I, I'm, dues. Yeah, I, I don't know. Again, I, I kind of... Uh, I, I disagree have, a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. have a lot of feelings yep, about that, especially I, since yeah. the meeting we had with Copper and Walker today was pretty clear that we're trying to establish a new framework for how people could be onboarded. Yep. It's possible that those folks who've been here with us since the beginning would get skipped. Yep. Yep. I don't like that. Yep. So, um, but that is, again... I, uh... I, I state my opinion. <laughs> Discussion I, for another day. Yeah, so That's I, sta fine. I state my opinion. I, you know, it's why I tried to, you know, build other windows while I could. And uh, yeah. those windows get undone. So, well, what he said in the meeting yesterday, or to, to me at the very least, was. He doesn't want to have people in roles when there's nothing for them to do, which I understand will very quickly have things for them to do. Right now, analysts being what analysts are, he wanted them to be one to one with an agent. I think we'll find very quickly that there will be space for analysts to exist outside of being one to one. Um, and, and so we'll be able to at least this is something I'm willing to pitch down the line like analyst specialization. So with like Izzy having a specialization in finance, um, calling her in to do finance related crimes. Right. Um, or um, with someone like Ari, whose specialization is um, investigation, right? If, if we bring her in with an expectation of going into an agent role, then having somebody who would move into her parallel as a generalized something, someone like Anna, who is a very generalized, just curious person would be a good fit. And then someone who like Odessa is more operational in nature would be a specialized, I mean, kind of the way we, we had been moving in that direction, right? Right. Specialization breeds that kind of innovation where there's things to do. It just looks different. And if what yeah. you're going to do is just stand downstairs, you can still stand downstairs if that's what's needed and get the work done. Uh, yeah, I want to do, uh, and Booba and I had spoken about this before, is um, if we need people to stand downstairs, um, we we have people rotate, right? Because we sure. can pick up and move our work. And yeah, it yeah. sucks to have people, like it sucks to be downstairs, but we can have people rotate um, you know, however long is needed, but just making sure there's people downstairs. Um, well, the, 
the other fact of the matter is clerks and security don't have to have the same specialization in their background that everyone else does because of how that information transference would happen. So the level of background check that we're going to try and in, not just background check, but like, I think you, you talked about it earlier, right? The medical component of it and uh, making sure people's like loans are in good standing, things like that, um, that, that like would prevent any kind of possible corruptibility. Um, someone like Kyle Pred could never get a job here because of his debt. I was literally uh, thinking that earlier. Right. Um, those are some of the guidelines that we'll be able to set up, which may exclude people from progression, uh, like career progression, but we could give them that expectation that like, hey, if this is something you wanted to do, you come in at a, a level of a security person or clerk or whatever it may be, and to be able to do this, you have to have an expungement and X amount of time to show that things are being turned around and your loans have to be paid off. And I mean, like there, there's like a way in which you can work here, you know, have closeness and proxy to what's happening in this building. I mean, but we the hired the time, former serial killer, so. Right. Um, well, and I'm a felon, so. Yeah. There's, there's, there's I apparently that. murdered somebody once, so. Yeah, I think, I think those are the things though, that, that like, I don't, I don't obviously want to gatekeep anybody out of being able to be here. Um, and I think, I think there is, I guess from my perspective, there's more work to be done uh, out of that meeting with Copper and, and Walker. Um, things that I had planned for like very long term. Right. That now are being brought into like the immediacy that we talked about earlier. Um, that while Booba is at the conference later this week, I feel like I can probably start on and get a pretty good foundation for her so that when he comes back, um, we could not have to wait another six months. Yeah. That's, that's the thing that like there are going to be, and especially after he was talking about uh, with Copper, people that aren't yet in Los Santos, there is already a, a heavy desire for people to work for lack of better phrasing um, on the types of things that we would be able to work on. It's just right now, the formalities. We are sure waiting for stamps. Down. Right. Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? Good. I was waiting for you. Good mm -hmm. timing. Has everyone headed out? Um, would you like for me to start on... Um, Odessa and Anna have headed out for the day. Okay. Uh, I'm heading out as well. Uh, just to update you, as of right now, I don't have a, a position, technically. Um, oh, no! But that is something that is being worked on. Okay. Thank you, Isaac. What's that? Is it thing? Hold on one. I'm going to come say hello to you. I'm, uh, I'm coming back into the lobby then. I started leaving. Where are you? Oh. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm allowed on the premises, and I'm you know, doing small tasks here and there. But I am, as of right now, I don't have a position. I'm sorry. Not your fault. Was kind of a funny joke I made earlier, though. <laughs> I mean, it was, but no, it's not. It's not funny at all. It's okay. Don't worry. We 
we'll, uh, how did it, how did it, here. yeah, how did it come to, how did it come to this? I was just, I was having a talk with, um, you know, came up there and was like, hey, some things are not meshing, I'm trying to figure this out, and he said, well, for now, uh, you won't have a position, but we will, um, so hold on, Let's he just happens. he just said you won't have a position. As of right now, it is not there is not a position for me to fill, so to say. Okay, so this was not an agreement you came to together. It was a decision that he made. Mm, you can say that, yes. But it's a thing that I've accepted. Okay, I... Don't worry, I'll still be here every now and then. I just don't wear a fancy suit. And, um... I'll come by and say hi every now and then. That I am allowed to. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's not your fault. Be a dog. <laughs> you may, yeah. Only if I may hug you back. Okay. Take care. You too as well. I'll probably be by as normal just for shorter bits and not doing anything too specific. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you later. Stay safe. Bye. Let me know if you need anything. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. Yeah, that may be something we need to do. I don't think there's any issue with that. If the like the Senate deems that you are the director, uh, and that's the person that we can have hire, fire, and have that level of authority. Again, we kind of talked about it earlier, right? The person who's the go-between for the Senate. That's something you've already been doing. Um, that's that's just kind of the autonomy piece that we need. additional agents and, and build up the academy. Um, those are the things that are kind of like operationally the next steps for getting off the ground. But I think it makes total sense. Yeah, it, it'll be the best way for us to navigate these next steps. And I've been doing thinking and I will hold the position until I see someone that I think could do the job better than I can. Love that. Sir? Uh, yep. Are you going to inform me that you're going to let Isaac go? Uh, we can talk about this later. Before you leave, all right? No, because I'm going to leave now. All right, give me a minute, Sloan. Come on, Posey. Sure. All right, I'm asking for your opinion again.
Was there a follow-up to that? No, I'm asking for your opinion. My opinion on what? On what you just said. If you were going to inform me? Uh, about it. No, I want to I want to hear what you think about it. When I think it was bullshit that I was not informed if you intended to do that as chief of staff. Do I think you are in the right to do that? Sure. Do I think I should have been informed? Yes. If I'm to be acting as chief of staff over civilian hires. Yes, I know I said that I get to be the bad guy. Yes. But I do think that I should be informed who is going to be working and especially hired and fired within this building. I do not want to be hearing that somebody has been let go over the radio. All right, good. That's all I wanted to hear. He's not fired. Yes, but he does not have a position at this time. What? So you? Yeah, he doesn't have a position because the thing he's doing is not got. It doesn't suit standing in the law. It doesn't. He has to have as much discretion as possible with this unit idea that he's doing. Does that not mean he can brainstorm here? He can. But all it takes is one person to stand outside the building and take a picture of him walking in. For him to be associated with the FIB. I did not tell him he was fired. I did not tell him he couldn't stand at the building. I told him that he should You said consider... he does not have a position here at the moment. If I do not have a position here, I do not work here, Bubu. Okay, well, he does. And I told him to act the way he probably did over the radio because I don't want unit to be a common knowledge thing. What people do not know cannot hurt them. I highly disagree with that. If someone points a gun to your head and says, I'm going to kill you unless you tell me about unit. Or what you know about unit and you know nothing about it. I let Isaac use his own discretion about the way he handled it. The way he handled it is the way he wanted to handle it, not me. For all things and purposes, he is the head of unit. You understand why I'm upset. Because you think I fired Isaac. Basically. Yes. Well, he's not fired in the way I'm letting him. I understand the control. way you were letting him control it. I understand that it is on a need-to-know basis. But as chief of staff... I literally just... I, I had I know a conversation it, I know with it him. literally just happened. But with all of these positions being undone, and I'm talking to Sloan about budgeting... Budgeting can be changed. I know budgeting can be changed. Okay, 
I'm gonna go back and talk to Sloan. No, no, I don't. I don't want to leave this here. I'm not. I'm not going to get over this right now. He doesn't want the title uh, clerk. He actually didn't want a title. I, okay. Because I, anything I could think of did not make sense. Either I was, I wish I was there for this conversation because it had to do with job titles. I came up with the, the unit department. Isaac and I were on the same page. Well, then you should see that keeping his identity and any affiliation with FIB not, secret is... I do not disagree. Okay, so I, I don't understand where the problem is then. I didn't make him walk out of the building saying that he was fired. I told him that his position can be undetermined and that he can act upset about it. If he so chooses. Okay. Because that makes the most sense. And he was the one that came up with the idea of saying, I don't know. I don't know if he used that exact terminology with you, but... I do not like being uninformed. That is all. Whether that is on you, whether that is on Isaac, I do not like being uninformed. That is it. I'm going home for the day. Okay, let me let me respond. What? I, I understand that, and I was going to tell you, but it literally just happened. I, I know it literally just happened. And I'm sorry it's happened like this. I need to take okay, some time. I just I'm... want you to know mm. that your your gripe with this is that I didn't have enough time to tell you because there was no time to. Or you did not invite me in on the meeting. Yes. When well, it, it had to, when it had to do with job titles. It morphed into that. Okay. I didn't even know that's what he wanted to talk to me about. Okay. So yes, that is what I am uh, upset about. All right. Well, I didn't have time, and I didn't know that that was the conversation I was going to have. Okay. Are we both understanding then? Yeah. All right. Thank you for being here today, and thank you for everything you've done. Yep. Thank you. Good night, Posey. Hey, Sloan, I've hit my band with limits for today. Okay. So I need to head out. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I, I should be around tomorrow, though. So. Yeah, I'll be okay. around too. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. I won't see you until Monday. Okay. All right, good night. Night.
see, if this was me, right? Especially after the meeting that Posey had with Booba. Sorry, I have something stuck in my teeth. Um. Where. Posey said that, um... You know, her goal is to make sure that everybody's happy. Right? Thank you. But, basically... This how it works in, like... real life too like even when the boss makes a decision you go like hey before you go <laughs> how about you meet with hr And just, uh, you know, let them know of your position change. You can't enter Benny's over here anymore, right? No. Okay. I mean, you're telling me I can't micromanage everything? <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, Booba? Yep, I'm going pink. Let me tell you, if another thing that Posey does, like, gets undone without a... And this is where, like, taking communication courses comes in. Um, and it's why, you know, I said to Booba that, uh, just the very, very minor details in, like, you know, stay outside or versus I need you to stay outside. And it's something I noted, ironically. Um, it's something I noted, I noticed, uh, how Klaus talks to Wisteria. Right? Because Klaus never tells Wisteria what to do, he always asks. It's always, can you give us a few minutes alone, or this is an important, you know, meeting, blah, blah, blah.
And that's what I'm almost using as example, an example, right? Ooh, the red looks good. Or the purple, maybe? Oh, let me try the purple. I don't like... I don't like... I like the matte so much more. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always here to help. Ah, uh, there we go. Hot pink? Oh, 
There we go. Beautiful. Move your car onto one of the black okay. racks. Thank you so much, man. So many months. Sorry, I didn't see you. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. I have a Benny's order. All right. Pearlescent, neon, and library? Mm -hmm. And primary. Nope. Oh. Okay. Didn't show the primary on there. Hold on one sec. Let me check it again. Yeah, it doesn't have the primary color on there. You want to make one more uh, ticket and just throw the primary oh wait, on there? Maybe I didn't change the primary. I might not have, actually. All right, well, we can do these. If anything, we can add it on yeah. later. Okay. okay. What is your state ID? Uh, 7129. All right, yeah, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, it should be just a nice one across. This is cool. Actually, let me get an ID here. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this system I'm using. No, it's fine. Let me just charge it to the bench. Charge him up with the open and get started on the repair. So how's your day been? Uh, pretty good. How about yourself? You said you're new here. Uh, yeah, I just started today, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, welcome. So, I'm happy. It was a lot harder to find a job than I thought. Yeah, it's difficult to getting a job in this city. It's more harder to get people to get the job. That was the harder part. Yes. Just having times line up. Yep. I um completely changed my sleep schedule working in this city. <laughs> oh god. 
I wish I could, but my nightmares are pretty set. Yeah. Yeah, I, um... I guess I'm, like, luckily unlucky in that way. That makes sense, so... Yeah. That is, yeah, I get Yeah, that is luckily unlucky, though. Mm-hmm. It's like a double-edged sword. Yes. Absolutely. I figure I'd make my card pink for October. And there you go. You are all set. Great. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a great day. Yep, you too. Make sure you mark the vehicle for delivery. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, oh, that's... There you go. You're all set. Yep, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It looks kind of orangey here, but... Huh. Let's, let's go shoot some guns. Using the term, I've hit my bandwidth limit. Well, hello, frame drops. How you doing? My name's Jay. And we are not friends. shot whether the house will be locked or not. Let's just meditate. Or entered your channel. Connected. User joined your channel. I turned it on! 
off. Oh, god damn you. Anymore. On oh, Spotify's Bork. You will be back.
When you think should we use this? Should we do a tarot reading? Bag PB and J sandwiches can sit out 24 hours before going bad or a whole week in the fridge. I think it depends on what kind of bread you use. All right, let's do a tarot reading. You ready? Two of Wands, uh, Temperance reversed. Hello. Connected. Hello. Can you hear me type pink in chat? 